Well, it's midnight. Been up since 5.30 this morning, and we've done international fly-in. We've done, we've been to coast to coast, battled weather, mechanical issues, all kinds of things the last 10 days. Oh, wait, you haven't watched it yet? You know what we're talking about? <laughs> well, it all starts right here. <laughs> Well, hello again. Thought I'd have you come along for another adventure. Last time we did a day in the life of a corporate pilot, and well, some things have changed since we did that video, and I want to thank everybody for watching. This time, it's week in the life of not just a corporate pilot, but a charter pilot. Now, the way our organization works is we're on from eight to 10 days on the road. So I am starting my time right now, it's Sunday, and I'm starting a trip to go and fly. Now the way this works is we don't know where we're going for the most part. I do know that I'm meeting the airplane, I'm airlining from Austin, Texas, all the way down to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And then we're gonna reposition the plane from Santa Ana to Bozeman, Montana, and then do a flight from Bozeman, Montana, the next day up to White Plains, New York. After that, we really don't know what the schedule looks like, but we're on the road, myself and the crew. So join along, hope you have fun. I don't know how this is gonna end or what's gonna happen, but I hope you enjoy a week in the life of a charter pilot. Leslie, the main flight attendant. What's up in Denver? Yay, we're having fun. There you look so much I will better never now. get COVID again, <laughs> ever. So Leslie, what are we doing? Waiting. For what? My bag. Why are we waiting for your bag? Because I checked it. <laughs> she checked the bag. Don't ever check a bag. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> To the Sheraton, please. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Well, just got to the hotel. It's about 11 o'clock here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Left the house about, well, got on the other airplane at the commercial flight about three o'clock is when it boarded. Quickly over in Denver, as you saw, and now here we are. Found out this evening that we have a little bit later show tomorrow. Uh, so normally I'd be doing all the flight planning and that sort of thing the night before. So I'll probably just do it in the morning when everything else is a little bit more fresh and updated and that sort of thing. Uh, doing some ironing behind me, getting everything ready. I forgot to show you this quick tip. When I'm on the road, I always carry a Roku stick. I love the Roku, right? So have a Roku stick, plug it in the TV because the cable generally always sucks. So that's just tonight's tip of the day. We're gonna wind down, watch a little, little Netflix and uh, get ready to have a fun day tomorrow. All right, talk to you soon. All right. So we're gonna start uh, flying, filing our flight plan. Um, first thing to do is I'm just gonna look at the all the latest, like what we're gonna, uh, where we're going, and we have a program that just tells us where we're going. So we're leaving out here, GRR to SNA. And so, um, yeah, that's where we're gonna go. We're leaving here at about 12 o'clock. Between 12 and one is really what they told us. So I'll, I'll set the flight plan for a little bit earlier than that, uh, just so I can get it and just make sure things good to go so we're not rushed. GRR, all right, so this is already telling us, hey, there's yeah, updated 380. I'll turn out to go look at, see what the weather's doing there. Oh, we see it's BFR conditions. Let's tap is. Yep, all good. We have smoke in the area. 
turn two, landing runway two seven, localizer approach is in use. Alrighty. I do seven six for a mock. Look at the routes, see what's up. We have recommended we have ATC cleared during my school with the ATC cleared routes. Select routes, it's gonna be three hours and fifty-two minutes of nothing but fun. This also gives us an overview of what the uh, of uh, the satellite and what the radars are doing. All right, so what they've told us is, uh, what dispatch has asked us to do is to tanker up on gas, so use as much gas as possible. So um, what's kind of nice in this is I can just add in, uh, I can just say, hey, set for max uh, fuel, and it will give you max fuel. Uh, so there's three of us, um, and then so two crew members or two pilots, and then we got Leslie in the back, and then uh, we have one passenger. So we have a total of four people. Alrighty. And go with two bags, 200. All right, so max fuel I can take is 18,329. So this is going to get us enough fuel. What we're trying to do is uh, to get where we're going and then uh, and then get over to Bozeman this evening. So um, we're getting gas really cheap here. We have a good discount rate, so we are going to take on as much fuel as we possibly can. So um, I'm going to put on 18,000 pounds, say about 18.3, 18,000 pounds of fuel. Tax fuel is already in. Fuel destination is going to be about 9,300, 90, about 9,400 pounds. I'm going to land about 8,600 pounds or so. Don't really need alternate fuel because we're not we're not needing it today. So we our extra fuel is about 6,700 pounds or 70, uh, 6,800 pounds. Okay. Perfect, easy, and that's it. That's how we file the flight plan. That looks good to me. Um, I'm gonna do a quick brief, just take a look at everything. I'm not gonna bore you during this part, uh, but. Um, go ahead and take a look at the brief. It's downloading right now, and then we can take it from there. That's it. Next, we just got to wait and balance. We'll show you that on, on another day. That's it. We're all filed, ready to go. Breakfast is in a paper bag. Yeah. Got anything less? You need help? Good. It's called the Dream Team. Yeah. Might be. It might be a nightmare, but. Uh -huh. uh, Dream team. This is where uh, dreams we make dreams come true. We don't make dreams come true. <laughs> dreams actually happen. <laughs> they don't happen at all. They don't happen at all. They uh, might happen. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> might happen. They might happen. Occasionally. There's occasional dreamage that might happen. So, where do you have a problem? Well, this is what happens when your pilots forget that there's um, cold storage that needs to be taken in the refrigerator, but instead it gets left in the luggage compartment. So we've got days of egg salad. Mm. Um, fruit. Oh, yummy. It has bubbles in it. Oh, that's, that's good wine. That's uh, <laughs> yogurt, mm. feta soup. But yeah, but the best part is when your fruit starts to bubble. Next up, it's fermenting. No, seriously, next up is it'll turn green. So if we just leave it in the luggage compartment a few more days, <laughs> success. So thanks, thanks guys. Okay, well, plane's all set up, ready to go. It is 11:33, and uh, we're just waiting on passengers. So we could wait anywhere from uh, 30 minutes from now, or it could be an hour and a half from now. So we don't know. But we're all ready to go. Everything's good. Let's just make their cleaning. Toretto's finishing up fueling. Good to go.
uh, at SNA. And now we're headed to Bozeman, Montana, about a two hour flight or something like that. So we are doing what's called a quick turn. We are hurrying up, getting out of here, dropping off the passenger, and then we're out. So there you go. So one thing we have to be doing as we're doing this, we're putting in our new flight plan, our new uh, aircraft speeds, getting a new um, clearance, and then getting out of here. Right there, it's Under Armour. Yeah. And then the one in front of us right here, the, yeah. the golden blue, that's yeah. uh, well, it used to be San Diego Chargers, but it's LA Chargers now. No way, man. Yeah. That's actually a really cool audience sitting right there. Yeah. Hey, how'd they say they're going to get us out of here? I, they, they didn't really specify, but they do know that we're leaving. They, Yeah, yeah, yes. We're just gonna put you on the end there for departure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, we can do it. Okay. Give us like two okay. seconds. Just give us two seconds. All right, fuel elevation set, 4,500 feet. All right, uh, and percent check point. Sweet, dude. All right. Uh, and it gives me the signage. Set brakes. Set brakes. Brakes. Yep. Brakes are set. Gerardo, how fast is that turn? Not that we're moving fast. We were just moving with purpose. Exactly. Smart. Moving with purpose. Moving with purpose. One successful day. First, we started off in Grand Rapids in uh, Orange County, or John Wayne. John Wayne. John Wayne. John Wayne. And then uh, now we're here in Bozeman, Montana. Montana. A little smoky. A little smoky. It's a little, little, little tough to see the, the field at first, but we got here successfully. No issues, no problems. And uh, so, yeah, another, another, another good day. Another good day. So the way this works, we're both captains. Today was my leg to fly. Tomorrow, this guy's. I'm scared. That's what he says to me every time I fly. It's all good. Now, check out the hotel. Yep. Get a bite to eat. Have we eaten today yet? No, we have not. We have not eaten today. Right. What time is it right now, Gerardo? Oh, good question. Montana, yeah. Montana time. Montana it's about time. About 5.30, about 5.45. Something like that. We really don't know yeah. what time it is. <laughs> yeah. but, but we're hungry, so we're going to go eat. Exactly. Yeah. So we get a little hangry right now. A little hangry. We get a little hangry. <laughs> One of the best things about corporate aviation, the cars we get to drive. Airlines are in the back of a bus sometimes. But us, no, most of the time you're in the back of a bus. Corporate though, you get some pretty nice cars. Isn't that right, Lamb? This is Lamb, we love her. I'm in the back seat, She's in, Hey, it's not, she, it's just we're driving Miss Daisy. It's all <laughs> it is, we're just driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> Okay, today's pro tip. I know everyone's thinking, Jerry, how is your tie 
always perfect. I mean, it's perfect. It's it, the, the not everything is perfect. All right, today's pro tip, it's called the zipper tie. All right, yes, the zipper tie. It's not a clip on, it's the zipper tie. And the zipper tie is the key to the perfect tie. This is the secret life of the pilot. And now you know. Nothing in the cooler that's rotting today. Oh my. God. This is what. <laughs> this is what we have to. This is this is our life. This is what, and this is only like day two. You like my chin strap? <laughs> this is sexy happening. This is Captain Heredia going out to his man, his steed of an airplane. Oh no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Crew bags loaded. All right, so the Gerardo's up front. I'm the pilot not flying today. Uh, so he's gonna do all the stuff on the inside. I'm gonna do all the stuff on the outside, which is fuel the airplane. Get the pins, do a pre-flight, the whole nine yards. Stuff, get everything ready, take the copy, do the FBO, get new copy, paper gas, full nine yards. The uh, fueler ran out of fuel, so uh, he's okay. gonna go get a new truck. Alright, okay. alright, so we're, you know, we're, we're in a holding pattern for that one. So that was fun. First truck, first time ran out of gas, then the other truck broke, and then, anyway, it took forever to go get gas just now. Normally it doesn't take that long, but today it does. That's why we show up an hour and a half early, just in case. And today's quick trip from Leslie. If you spray the fruit with water, it gives it a nice glistening glow. <laughs> right here, folks. Spray the fruit with water, glistening glow. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good glistening glow? That's what she said. Oh, maybe I should do it on my face. <laughs> A little bit of light chop, but it's gonna feel like that from Minnesota all the way to New York. Do you want me sitting deaf? You're not gonna. I know, I know, not That's the entire the time. Chop. The light chop, exactly. Like I said, right now it's just a forecast. Okay. As it's moving, you see this hill spot. It kind of dissipates a little bit. So as we get closer to Minnesota, I'll give you a heads up. Okay. But we'll feel it. The only thing that I'm concerned about is that in, in, in New York. That's the only That's thing. That's almost like the last part of the flight. Exactly. And that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Thank Sweet. you. No problem. Okay. All right, so as I mentioned, three hours, 45 minutes of flight. Okay. Pretty much as wild. Okay. Uh, there's no, nothing that's changed. Uh, it's a Bobcat 4 to Billings transition. Okay. That's wild. Climb the VOC. Top altitude 16,000. Go ahead and set this real quick. It's an RNAV departure, so at 500 feet, out of class coming on. I just had to be at, uh, at or above Jeffer, at or above 8,000, and Bobcat at or above 11,000. Okay. Uh, I'll hit up probably 10 speed coming out of okay. here. Uh, I got takeoff settings up to TO, so we got to take people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, high elevation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, currently, they're landing around only about six, but it's going to change in about three hours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, alternate for today is Team Burrow. Team Burrow. Okay. Uh, it's kind of skip to jump away from uh, white planes. All we see right now coming out of here 
Delta is the Aquilo. J36. Got it, okay. Yeah. 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 Single to my approach is left one. Safety and safety exterior inspection. Wait. Complete. Public manuals. Uh, check. Fire detection. Test. CBR. Test. Bunch of ground shed buses. Set override. Fuel panel. Set. Ignition. Auto. Start stop selector. Stop. Hydraulic panel. Uh, check off. Uh, windshield heat. Off. Uh, autopilot. Check. Bunch of masks and goggles. Check 100% check. Check 100% check. My check, side. Check, check my side. Iris. Align. Aligned. Uh, MFT system pages. Uh, still my attitude indicator. Uh, check. I cast reversionary mode. Set. RMUs. Set. 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 Hard brake. Set. Uh, on. Trims. Check. Both sides. Cool. Pressurization. Check. Set 500. Stop deck system. Test. It. FMS. Initialize. Initialize. Ear pins. We have one, two, three, four, five on board. Five on board. Set up check is complete. Sweet. You got the trust. Steer lights, yeah. open it, uh, GPU, APU, APU. Uh, come signs, oh. shut in, check bleak. How's it going here, Ryo? I got pierced. Shut up, let's go pee pee. Uh, <laughs> wait, so after flight, three hours. How was our how was our passengers? Let's see not real happy about the passengers because um, well they trashed the airplane pretty good. <laughs> Little kids on airplanes, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Precious little ones. Bless Little bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. So she's cleaning, drives in the paperwork today. I'm gonna pin and then help her out and do whatever. And, and then that's the day. You're a big help, by the way. We are in uh, Westchester County, New York. We're done. We're here for at least a whole day. Off. Yay, we're happy. That's a good thing. And then we're out. Woohoo! Stay alive. Okay. End of day two. Or day three. Whatever. Back to their hotel. Here we are. Safety sticker. That means it's clean. 
Yeah. Here we are. So, we are here for at least a day. So this is our kind of midway break point um, on the trip. So we're gonna chill out, relax, do whatever, catch up on whatever world that we've missed out on in the last couple of days. And uh, after that, we will head over to Aspen. Aspen, Colorado is where we're gonna go after that. Also, you know, at some point in time on this trip, we're gonna be in, um, uh, we're gonna be in Florida. So that much we do know, but there it is. So we're gonna change, go eat as a crew, go hang out, and then relax. All right, we're all done. Look, we're all out of our little monkey suits, out of our super suits. All right, look at this. Look at this crew. Huh? What's the best part of the day, crew? Finally get a chance to eat. Food. Food. An actual meal. It's the biggest decision we ever made. It's the only decision that actually that's matters. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's where, that's where things get intense. People fight for these meals. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the best part of the day. Today's kind of an off day. Sometimes we just don't have the trips lined up um, that we fly every day. Um, so sometimes we actually fly multiple times a day. We'll do two or three or four or five or six legs a day. Some days we just do one. Um, as you've seen, some days we do two. Um, and some days like this, we just don't do any. So we're in... Um, we're in New York today, um, in Westchester, New York, as we like to say, Westchester, New York. And um, we're in the middle of COVID, so there's not a whole lot of things to do. So we don't go out sightseeing and all that kind of stuff. We might go for a jog or a run or something, but it's pretty much kind of hang out in the hotel, go get a bite to eat, maybe catch up on some emails, which is what I'm about to start doing, and just relaxing. So this is kind of what it looks like. I like to think of these as like kind of a mid uh, trip break where you can just kind of regather things, recoup, and uh, and get on with life. A lot of times we'll do laundry on these days, which I still might I might do that today. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy having a day off on the road. One thing we are work, uh, working on right now is um, so the last passengers, as you remember, they they kind of trashed the airplane. I mean, there was. We had some blueberries back there, and there were some Oreo cookies, and uh, the passengers, uh, the tiny tots of the passengers decided it would be fun just to smear it all everywhere. So uh, we tried cleaning it up, even cleaning up during flight, didn't really work that well, Leslie did. So uh, we have opted to get it professionally clean. So it's something that we worked on uh, yesterday, and then today uh, the cleaners are coming out to detail the aircraft to get it all spick and span and ready to go for our trip on uh, on uh, for tomorrow and tomorrow's trip is going to be a little bit interesting um we are transporting a uh, a casket supposedly with someone in it and uh, so we're starting to kind of make arrangements for that and see what that looks like and how do we get the how do we uh, coordinate with the funeral home um and all that so we're taking um uh, a, a deceased person and at least one live person at least one live person uh, over to aspen and um, right now we're working on the trip because uh, it's been told we're taking 10 people plus a casket. Uh, now it's one person plus a casket. So everything can change between now and then. We really don't know. We're just trying to figure it all out. So here we are, day in the life. Okay, it's about six o'clock in the morning. East Coast time. Not bad for me. Feel sorry for the other crew because it's like four o'clock in the morning their time or three o'clock in the morning their time. But uh, here we go, another day. Okay, so today's tip. Take your laundry bag, you take your shoes, put them in your laundry bag. Now they don't get everywhere. You're welcome. Well, is it on record this time? You got it, you press the button. This is what I have to put up with. This guy, this guy. The amateur hour over here. <laughs> You guys are missing a lot of scenes right now because he keeps on forgetting to press the record button. Just to let you know, he's missing good stuff, but unfortunately you guys won't be able to see it. Just know underneath this mask it might look like I'm smiling, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that cut deep. <laughs> that cut deep. Cut me deep, Gerardo. Cut me real deep.
So we just landed in Aspen and we are standing by because we don't, we're not sure where we're going. So we're gonna, we might go do a trip or we might not. I'm not quite sure yet. So we're eating lunch. At the FBO, good times. Okay, so um, this is a little bit different. So we ended up in Aspen tonight um, because well, for some reason, the charter is going to go either tomorrow or the next day. We really don't know. So we went up in Aspen. Everything's in Aspen. It's very expensive. Um, they asked us, hey, where do you want to stay? We tried the same place, someplace local, but it was really, really expensive. So they said, hey, they, meaning dispatch, told us, hey, head down to Glenwood Springs, which is like an hour and some change away. And we're like, well, let's just look up for something else local because we want to be close to the airplane. Stay up in the mountains, etc." So we found a place for $90 a night, which we normally never do, but it beats the alternative of two or three or $400 a night of places here. So yes, welcome. This place is great. Doesn't even have air conditioning. Of course we're in Aspen, so you don't need air conditioning, but you know, if you have need air conditioning in Colorado mountains, that's what you get right there. It's awesome. It's really nice. And you have, Ceiling fan, it's really nice. But hey, it's close, it's quiet, it's a walking distance to everything. We don't normally stay in a motel, but tonight we are. Well, decided to wake up, go to a little village, call it the outdoor mall, mall, find some coffee, and we're gonna try to figure out what we're doing today, because we still don't know. We stay in here another two days, or we're gonna fly out today and do another pickup trip. So, we have a meeting in a little bit, find out what's going on. Once we get that, we'll know. All right, so we are staying here for another day, at least. Um, we're trying to work on a trip to, to go to Van Nuys, California, and then on over to um, uh, Cabo, and then up to Tucson. But we're gonna figure out what's going on with that. And then the next day or so, we would go from back up here to uh, Opelika, Florida. So right now we're doing all the logistics. Everyone's doing logistics back in flight control because of COVID, it makes everything really, really tough. So we have just been told just to kind of stand out and wait. So I'm gonna do a little exploring and uh, chill out and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the scenery. Hey, so wanted to give you the tip of the day. Here's our tip of the day. It's now clothes change day. All right, this is the sad part about the whole thing is generally bring like two sets of uniforms and call it done. Can't have a uniform for every, every day. So, you know, we get to the point that on a trip, we're gonna do laundry, which we do sometimes, um, but we also have to switch out the clothes. So what do you do? Switch out the clothes. First thing is, Hold the clothes inside out. Inside out is the key. Inside out is awesome. Uh, because when it's in the suitcase and something spills on the suitcase or you get something dirty in there, doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter because it can dirty up the inside and the outside is still good to go. All right, so then, but what we have is gonna be kind of hard to see, but what we have is wrinkle clothes, wrinkle clothes. Now the scary part about wrinkle clothes is the hotel iron. The hotel iron is the scariest thing when you're on the road because you never know what it's gonna do. Put black streaks on places, overheat, the whole nine yards. So this is what you do. Iron your clothes inside out. That way, if something kind of gets all messed up, it just messes up the inside, not the outside. See, aren't you glad that you've made it this far on this video? Yeah, me too. All right, so tomorrow, here's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow, wake up, we're gonna go out to the airplane. We are going to fly deadhead, which means nobody's in the airplane, all the way up to uh, Van Nuys. We're going to Van Nuys out of Aspen. We're gonna pick up some passengers out of Aspen and we're gonna take them to Cabo St. Lucas. So we're gonna go down to Cabo. We're gonna drop them off in Cabo. And then, as of right now, we are gonna then deadhead the airplane back to the States and we're gonna go to Tucson, which we should stay in Tucson uh, overnight. And then uh, we're back here in Aspen to take a group to Opalaca, Florida. And that should pretty much wrap up the trip for me, but we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. So I'll see you in the morning bright and early as we take the plane from Aspen, Colorado on over to Van Nuys, California. Have fun. Let me tell you about one of the bad things about being on the road all the time. And that's when you don't sleep all night long. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Couldn't sleep. Got just a few hours of sleep. Ugh. Now we have a day in front of us, and it kind of sucks, but, oh well. So here we go. Set the fuel panel. Beautiful day in uh, Aspen. Head on over to Van Nuys, California. After Van Nuys, we're going to Cabo. After Cabo, going to Tucson. And that should be the day. There you go.
Charger 27 Romeo. And contact Santa Monica Tower 120.1. See ya. 120.1, contact Santa Monica Tower 274 Romeo. Have a good day. Zug would be at 2,500 feet, coming up on it. Good. Cessna November Delta, runway 16 left, clear to land. Thrust lepers. Idle. Stop, stop, selectors. Stop. Gus lock. Engage. Flaps. Zero. Transporter radar. Stand by, stand by. Trims. Three set. Steering. Disengage. Ice panel. Set. Hydraulic pumps. Off. Off. Yeah, extra things. Extra yeah. lights. GPU, APU. APU. This uh, chem signs. Off. Should I check? Open it up. Wow. Alright, we're in Van Nuys. Uh, California. And now we're going to do a post flight. Fuel it up. Get some passengers, got 11 of them, and we're gonna head out in like an hour. We got like an hour and a half to kill. Woo! <laughs> huh? How many passengers did you have next? Um, I have 11. 11. And they're all in their 20s. Are and they all want to know if we have beer and shot glasses on board, so yay me! Okay, everybody always thinks they're big and bad, you know, in their airplane, until you go to the ramp and you got one of these right there. Boeing business jet. That's, that's big time. That That's big. Not so big. Big. One more time. Not so big. Big. Got it. Cool. All right, live check all the way through. Clear to go. Check number seven. Whiskey Echo. Check up point seven. Will be westbound. Ready one six right. Clear to go. Clear to go. Clear to go. Point six right. So Whiskey Echo. All right, man. Uh, to the line. Uh, minimum or uh, complete three. Minimum, yeah. minimum fuel. Uh, it's gonna be seven six, and we got uh, thirteen twelve eight on board. Cool. Uh, uh, transporter is one T A R A. Take off the pig west check. Steer lights. Take off runway. We got one six right on the pavement, and then the box. Verified. Let me check. Number two volume. 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 Number two vol
bunch of pretty great uh, uh, thrust levers, uh, stop stop selectors, uh, guest lock, uh, flaps, uh, transporter radar, trims, steering, ice panel, uh, hydro pumps, steering lights, GPA view, cabin side, shut and check the feet. Made it to the hotel. It's six o'clock local time. Got to be downstairs in 13 hours. Time to get something to eat because really had to eat today. Although I had a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the airplane because Leslie made it for me and a piece of nice cake. So, uh, you know, wasn't too bad. But I'm done. I am done. So tonight, I need to check out the flight plan. Need to do everything, weight balance, all that kind of stuff, and then. Um, yeah, um, probably do that while I eat or right afterwards or something. So, man, that's all I know. Tomorrow, tomorrow should be the last leg. Should be the last leg. So, uh, again, we're going from uh, Tucson and then up to uh, just deadheading. No one's on the airplane. Up to uh, Aspen and then Aspen to Opelika, which is basically Miami, Florida. And uh, I think we're done for the day or for the for this trip. I think so. One more day and uh, we're out. But anyway, today was a good day. Not too bad. Dodged a couple thunderstorms, had some nice people, really good. We were all kind of nervous about the group, a bunch of young people, um, but they were all really, really pleasant, really, really nice, and uh, gave us a nice tip, which is awesome. So anyway, flight crew's happy. We're all just a little tired. So that's all I know. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. So one of the other things that we have to worry about though is getting out of Aspen and I'm gonna have 12 people I think tomorrow um, out of Aspen, 12. 12 people plus three crew members. So I'm gonna have a pretty full boat. We're leaving in the afternoon. It's not gonna be real, real hot because there's a cold front that just came through. But so one of the things I have to do is just double check to make sure that I don't take off with too much fuel here, land, and then we're gonna be weight restricted because we can't take off there. So. It's one of the things I'm going to worry about, but I'm not going to guide you through all that kind of stuff, but that's some of the things we have to check out and worry about when we're, especially when we're taking off in the afternoon, taking off a lot of people, and then going a decent, um, a decent distance. Uh, so anyway, things we do. All right, well, today is Saturday, the 29th. Um, going over to um, Aspen and then Opelika. Um, it's gonna be one of those days, I think, today. Um, we are we are right at the verge. Um, we can make it out of Aspen, but everything's gotta be very, very tight because it's gonna be pretty warm. We're in high elevation. We're going a decent amount of uh, distance and we're heavy. So put all that into consideration. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna push this airplane a little bit. So anyway, and of course there's thunderstorms everywhere. Um, so I'd be glad when today's over. All right, anyway, let's get after it. Okay, so we tried to take off. We got to the end of the runway. We did an ice test, or we did test, and uh, we had a system not pass that test. So because we couldn't pass the test, came back to the gate, well, the ramp, and now we sit. So we don't know if this is it for, the, for this trip or what's gonna happen. Right now, a bunch of people behind the scenes are working very hard to figure out what's gonna happen but uh, we don't think this airplane's going anywhere today. That's true. Our fate. Okay. Really necessary. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, right now we're just in a holding pattern right now, just waiting to see what happens if we go home or if we just sit for the next couple days and um, part of the territory. Part of the territory. Yeah. Got to um, uh, Grand Junction, enter everything in the box, and uh, waiting on these passengers. Not quite sure when they're going to show up, so everybody's getting everything ready, and uh, then we're going to go off for a four-hour flight to um, 
down to Florida, and then we'll see what happens after that. Get this airplane fixed, and then move on about ourselves later on. There you go. Just landed with um, about a 30 gust factor in there, a little bit a lot, and right at the max um, crosswind landing. That's good times. It's a lot of good times. <sighs> like I said, let's get this day over with, and we'll be good. The thing is, along our route of flight, we have some serious, not serious weather, but we got some good weather to contend with, we've been looking at, and um, so we'll have to mess with that as well. So I think we're going to be over most of it, so everything's showing, but we'll see. Okay, just got to the hotel. It's kind of late. It's pretty late. East Coast time. We're all tired. Um, yeah. So, we dodged a bunch of thunderstorms. Uh, we had some issues today. It was a long day. Um, but we're done. As soon as I can find my hotel room. Uh, 5.35, there he is right there. And look, you know it's safe? Because that's on it. Yeah, anyway, tomorrow's a maintenance day. And uh, so we're going to work with maintenance to get the airplane fixed all up. Hey, it's dark in here, it's great. So there you go, we're having fun. This was, hey, when you go to, to Florida, do you guys stay and do you have all this fun and what do you do? And eh, not really, because it's uh, 10 o'clock at night in Florida. We've been up, we had an 11 hour day today. And, um, yeah, we're tired. Last thing we want to do is go try to sightsee or something like that. So, uh, no. Sometimes we do fun things like that, but not this week. So, hey, there you go. We're having fun. Okay, well, today is day uh, seven, and uh, we're all kind of feeling like we're kind of getting done for the trip. Um, we're in Opelika, Florida, and we're about to take the airplane. Uh, we brought a maintenance person in flew him in, one of our maintenance guys. Uh, he's gonna take a look at the airplane. We're gonna start troubleshooting some things. Um, we have a really quick flight up to um, Stewart, Florida, and uh, where we're gonna position the airplane and be ready to go for the morning. And um, so that's kind of what we're gonna do today. And, um, and then we have a flight, uh, we're uh, leaving at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, go up to New Jersey and then over to someplace else. Um, but, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on for today. Um, we thought we we're gonna do laundry and all that stuff today, but um, no, since we're end up just gonna stay here or uh, move the airplane, no one's doing laundry anymore. But luckily I have um, two more days of clothes and there's about two more days left on this trip. So should be good to go. Anyway, so kind of a maintenance day, uh, flying the airplane, dressed like this, easy smeezy, um, quick flight. Help out the maintenance guys where we, when we can, where we can. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Kind of a kind of a different day. Um, again, with this type of operation, and we're a small operation, is that um, everyone you know we don't just fly. Like it is good for us to help the mechanics out, to help out everything, um, to yin and yang with the schedule and what's going on. So that's part of the job. All right, so we're down here at the airplane, uh, about to take off. We got one of our mechanics over here, he's looking at everything he's going with us for the next few days. Uh, quick fly, we're going to do a couple of maintenance test flights while we're going around for a short flight. And uh, that's all we know, hopefully everything will pass okay. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Hope you can hear me.
Art. The, Art Art's on the road with us right now, and uh, look what Art's driving. This is how they hook him up. Art's mechanic gets the wonderful Cadillac. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Nice. Yeah. Now, now, if we look, if we look up and around, we just brought Art through all that, as you remember it seeing. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Art needs a beer now. Yes, I need a beer. <laughs> Life on the road. Checked into the uh, hotel and yeah, that's all we know. Came in, hanging out, got an early morning tomorrow and that's all we know. You notice, hey wait, where's Gerardo? He's not here. <sighs> he left something at the FBO. So now he gets to drive the hour and a half back to go get the said thing that he forgot. Good night, y'all. 6.30 in the morning, just got to the airplane. Mechanic already has uh, it going. It's early, but it's the last day. That's all that matters, Woohoo! We're headed to Jersey, and then to Detroit. That's Leslie, here's Leslie. She doesn't like her coffee, you can tell. Look, it's crazy. All right, let's get ready. Jersey Shore. All right, hang out at Jersey Shore, getting some breakfast with the crew. One of us is not here, decided to be a lame person and not join the crew for breakfast. You know who you are, Gerardo. But um, yeah, a break in the day, and then it's go home day, and we're gonna make it to our flights. Yeah. He's not, he gets to stay on the road for a while. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Live on the road, woo -hoo. So we're traveling with Art, and Art, Art Art's been with us now for uh, two days. Art, tell, tell everyone, what, what, what did you just say? I said, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Art, what, what time is it? Do you know what time you're, it is? Well, my phone says it's, it's 1706, so I know that much. <laughs> Do you know what that means to you or your body? No. <laughs> No. So he's on the road with us for two days and he's already completely messed up. My circadian <laughs> code, man. Messed up. This is two days. Look, I'm on my last thread of clean. My hair. This is day 10. And it ain't pretty. <laughs> Got the plane. It's 11:40 at night. 11:45. Walking over to my car, and we're done. It's a 30-minute drive for me to get home, and um, yeah, 
and at home. Start of the day at about 5.30 this morning, East Coast time, and uh, now here we go. And so that is a 10 day trip, a long 10 day trip. It's still 12 o'clock right where this video started. Still driving home, but I'm thankful to have a job. I'm thankful to have good management and good crew with me and uh, good support. So that's what it looks like. Is this job for everybody? No, not at all. As you can see, things change all the time. In fact, what we say is the one constant is change. So, if you're looking to get on this side of the fence, on the charter side or the private side, one thing that you gotta know is change is gonna happen. It's gonna be a lot of change. And it's just part of the job. There's also a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And um, there's a lot of responsibility on any pilot's shoulders. Um, but in this job, there's a different type of responsibility. It's not just about the flying. And there's so much in this video that was happening behind the scenes that I just couldn't film and couldn't show. One, um, because we kind of keep things somewhat secret for our passengers. But two, things just get so busy that we just can't have a camera out and rolling all the time. And man, I kind of wish you could truly feel some of the things that we felt while on this trip. And again, this is just very typical of a typical trip. So if you've lasted this long, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Hope you have fun. If you have any questions, ask below. We'd love to respond to you and, and educate you. Give us an idea of the next video we should do if you want if you want to see another one. We'd love to I'd love to do another one. It takes a lot of work, but hey, it's worth it if it helps people live their dream or understand what we do here. So at that, I'm going to pay attention to the road. I'm going to sign off. And uh, hey, go ahead. Tell me, what you, tell me what you think. Talk to you later.